Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today uh, I will walk you through how to resolve the PySpark installation error in Windows 11 with PySpark 4. So you might have heard about the uh, latest uh, news that PySpark 4 has been released. Okay, so I have tried to install in my system, but unfortunately uh, it got failed. Uh, so I have used two approach. One I have used two approach. One is uh, UV package manager and second is the PIP package manager. So now first I will tell you which approach failed for me. Okay, so I have used a UV package manager and UV package manager here you can see in the screen it has shown me Java package object is not callable. Okay, so it will uh, throw you this kind of error. So let me just walk you through this uh, error like what caused this error. So this is my, uh, in the left hand side, uh, you can see my project folder is there and I have purposefully created the two virtual environment. One is .venv that is uh, UV base and uh, venv that is uh, IPIP base. Okay, so let me distinguish between these two things. Now, right now I am having uh, .venv. So let me just walk you through how i uh, let me show you how what error you will face so this is uh, if you want to run anything with uv so you know that uh, you need to run it uh, uv run you need to write uh, command uv run and then the whatever the pyspark file is there say for example this is a sample pyspark file don't get amused that uh, this is not showing uh, some kind of unrecognizable error because uh, i have tested few times so probably it will be taking a different uh, version you can see here uh, virtual vnv version is there so let me change it to dot vnv so it would be crystal clear for you why and how it uh, works and I didn't work. So let me take you through this uh, Python. Yeah. So I have changed the Python interpreter and now I will close this uh, file and uh, I will try to uh, run this file in my local environment. Okay. Using uh, virtual dot VNV that is a UV package manager and let me first list the file okay pyspark tutorial is there this is nothing but the simple pyspark uh, file so uh, uv run pyspark tutorial.py so uh, here uh, you will get this kind of error i have been digging it for past uh, few days uh, with uv package manager and pyspark 4 okay so unfortunately it didn't work it out and it uh, recurrently throws me this kind of error so what i tried either you can uh, use your uh, pyspark 3.5.6 that means uh, don't go for the latest version you stick to 3.5.6 or 3.5 point any pyspark version that will be uh, that will be working uh, for you and use a pip installer okay uh, and virtual environment so i am specifically using virtual environment so it would be very specific project specific so if you want to do what you can do uh, for your case uh, i will uh, first i will deactivate it and uh, this virtual environment is there so yeah you can see here this virtual environment is there okay i will uh, remove it uh remove item recurse force uh vnv yeah so this will uh, remove your any folder directory so here you can see there is no uh, virtual network uh, virtual private uh, environment called vnv now i will create a virtual private uh, virtual environment so python iPhone M, VNV, and VNV. Okay, so here in the left hand side, you can see the Python uh, environment VNV as it is being created. So once it is created, I will install uh, PySpark 3.5.6, that is the latest version. Okay, so let me install it. 
pip install PySpark is equal to 3.5.6. Make sure you install this version and don't go for the latest 4 version. It is a big hype. It will not work in your Windows uh, operating system sometime. And if you use uh, Linux, then definitely it will work. But I'm specifically uh, creating this video for the Linux uh, for the Windows users. Okay. So it seems like I have installed a PySpark. Then let me install Jupyter Notebook as well. Uh, pip. Now, oh my God, I did a grave mistake. I forget to activate this uh, virtual environment, newly virtual environment, and installed PySpark. So I should have done it. Uh, what we and we scrape activate now i should run pip install pyspark is equal to 3.5.6 because what will happen uh, if i install without activating the virtual environment it will install in the default python path which i don't want at any cost so now it has been installed now i will add pip install ipy kernel it is like a jupyter notebook kernel which i am uh, installing it so it would be pretty awesome to validate uh, the PySpark code in your system. Yeah. So meanwhile, what I will do, uh, I'm using the tray uh, ID. Uh, it is a carbon copy of the VS code. If you are using VS code or any other, feel free to continue. And uh, in order to run uh, this uh, Py, Python file, what do you need to do? If you go down in the right hand side, you can see Python uh, is equal to some interpreter is given. Okay. So what you need to do? First, you need to click on this uh, button. So you will see a lot of environments are there, Python environment. Don't get confused. Just get uh, your direction very sharp when where you have installed this Python. So I will find the path interpreter. And I know my stuff lies in this my projects. and these are the virtual vnv which i created so i'll give the path ah uh, sorry i need to give the path of python so i will go on, uh, into the script that python yeah so uh, it is now showing the vnv great now what i will do i will uh yeah i will go to my yeah pyspark folder and yeah, this file is there. Now I'll run uh, Python, then PySpark tutorial. So now it will not show me uh, any kind of error. Yes, it seems like uh, it is uh, working fine. And if you want to validate through Jupyter Notebook, you can also do, I will uh, right click on this uh, PySpark tutorial file and I will run it through run current file in interactive windows. So here uh, you will see uh, it will be showing in the Jupyter notebook. So let me uh, zoom it out. Yeah. So here you can see Spark in memory, Spark UI. Uh, it is working fine. Yeah spark version is this and master version. now the question comes like uh, how you can set the java path if you find the java path error so i suggest you you go to this website this is adopium.net and from this website uh, you will get the latest uh, java version or you can go to any uh, official java website i find this pretty interesting and i'm using the java 11 version Okay, so this is a customized Java version made by uh, Adopium Marketplace. And if you click on these things, I will uh, recommend you to go through the Windows one because uh, you will you are anyway going to uh, install for the Windows. Okay, you can just click uh, Windows. Otherwise, uh, you can just type uh, what you can do. Adopium. Adop pm uh, java msi download yeah so it will lend you to directly msi files 
So here you can see uh, you will di be directly redirected to MSI file. And uh, since you are uh, going for the Windows, so click on this Windows MSI and just uh, hit next, next, next. And you might be getting this kind of installation. So this is a uh, Ellipsium uh, Eclipse uh, Adopium uh, JD. Okay, so where the Java will be installed. Once the Java is installed, you give next, next. What do you need to do? You need to set the environment path. So how to set the environment path for Java? So in order to do that, what do you need to do? You uh, type env, uh, env system environment variable, then go to environment variable and go to this uh, system variable. So here in system variable, you need to define uh, Java home. Okay, I will show you where I have uh, defined this Java home. Yeah, so here you can see I have defined the Java home. Uh, you can create uh, simply by new Java home and uh, the path of your Java directory. Okay, once it is done, what you need to do? Second thing is you need to go to the path, go edit, and right? in path, you have to give here the Java home percentage, Java home percentage, and bin. Okay, and then uh, close the all directory, save it, and hooray. So your Java path is set. Now, how you can uh, check the Java path? So in uh, CMD or in any uh, in any uh, you know PowerShell, you can type Java hyphen version. So here you can see uh, Open JDK version eleven point zero point twenty seven has been installed. So this is the way you can install the Java. I recommend you first to install the Java. Then you create the uh, virtual environment using a pip. Okay, because uh, in my case, uh, UV didn't work. So I am using a pip. However, if you give me the option between pip and UV, I will uh, uh, I will go for the other project for UV because it seems like 100% faster, 100x faster than uh, pip. But the, for the project setting, um, I will use a pip. So then you create a virtual environment using a pip, Python, iPhone, M, VNV, v, uh, space VNV. Then activate that environment and then you install the PySpark version. And then uh, you run for your PySpark project. So I believe this would be very helpful for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, uh, type in the comment section and uh, let me know how I can help you. Thank you very much for watching this video.